What's up, Yes Gamers? Robert the Bruce here, and today I'd like to propose the idea that yes, there is a better way to aim. Now this ultimately boils down to preference, so it's not a set in stone rule that this is the best way hands down, but I honestly feel like it will help a lot of players increase their potential while aiming down the sights and avoid that spray and pray a little bit more. Now it boils down to the perspective shift that happens when you go from hip fire to ADS. By default, all guns with iron sights are set to zoom your view by 25% when you ADS. This next clip will show you exactly what I'm talking about. This gun has the default setup, and you can see when I zoom in, the perspective shifts quite a bit. Most players don't even think about it. Now, here's a replay of that first clip where I've switched the settings to not zoom in by that 25%, and you can see in slow motion, it is quite a difference in how the perspective shifts when you go to aim. The rest of this video, I'll be using various guns with the additional 25% zoom turned off. And if you've never seen this setting, it's as simple as going into the gun options and toggling the zoom from 1.25 back to just one. Now as a disclaimer, you will notice there's still a little bit of perspective shift when you zoom in. So don't think you did something wrong if you notice that. It's there to still draw attention to the fact that you are ADSing. But the difference now is that you aren't having a nearly as drastic of a perspective switch as you were having before. So, why does it matter? Well, it's all about your expectations. If a gun has a scope on it, well, when you go to aim, you're expecting it to drastically change your perspective. But if a gun doesn't have any kind of sight on it, but it still zooms in when you go to aim, it's like a buddy saying he's going to bring over pizza. And he shows up with some sort of nonsense baked on gluten-free crust with goat cheese and all sorts of other alternative healthy garbage. It just really throws you off. Now, if a gun just has iron sights and you go to aim, like I said, you expect the screen perspective to shift slightly, but nothing crazy. I believe that changing the zoom on your weapons to 1 instead of the default 1.25 helps you stay in the zone when you're in the midst of a firefight. If your gun is zooming in more than you expect, it can catch you off guard and you find yourself making sharper, more drastic aim adjustments. And it quickly has you feeling like your aim is way off and you start mad firing all over the place. Just like a hunter at a PETA convention, that's not where you want to be. Now regardless of what type of gun you like, a single shot medic weapon or a full auto assault gun, I found that toggling down the default zoom really helped me stay in the zone when I was in those chaotic up close firefights where every millisecond matters. Anything I can do to eliminate even tiny distractions is only going to up my game, so I'm all for it. Now on the flip side, most everyone has probably never touched that setting, so it may be kind of weird if you go to toggle it off and it's not what you're used to. I'd still encourage you to try it for a few matches. If after several games it's still super weird for you to ADS, well, switch it back, carry on, and no harm, no foul. But if after a few games you forgot you even made a switch, well, it's probably because it just feels more natural not to have that additional zoom kicking in. If you've long struggled with accuracy, is this going to be that catalyst for change that completely redefines how you play? Well, probably not. But it is a stepping stone on the path of continual improvement. If you never analyze how you play and think about why you do certain things, well, you probably won't progress as a player nearly as quickly. This is simply a building block towards becoming a better FPS player. Now, if it helps you keep your concentration for even one firefight per round, I think that's worth it. Now, if you like to communicate with strangers, head down to the comments. I actually am always interested to hear what the community thinks about these types of topics I discuss. If you haven't subscribed yet, but you like outer space, consider subscribing, because I also like outer space. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield.